we're still in our discussion of the analysis of two quantitative variables. We've looked at different descriptive methods. There are other methods that include how to compare two quantitative variables by creating an equation for them. We're going to look at this through a method called linear regression. So it's described as simple linear regression when you're comparing just two quantitative variables at a time. Adding in more than two would create what's called multiple linear regression. So the regression equation uses the notation y hat equals b sub 0 plus b sub 1 x. So when you talk about y hat, it indicates that you have a predicted or estimated value of y. So the hat indicates that you're predicting or estimating the value of y. b sub 0, then, is the notation we use to represent what's called the y-intercept. And this will be what y equals when, what y hat equals when x equals 0. Or you could think of it as what y hat would equal when the line crosses the y-axis. b sub 1, then, is going to be what we call the slope. And this can be thought of as how much y hat will change for a one unit increase in x. So if we talk about how to generically interpret the slope, we would say as the x variable increases one unit, we expect y variable to either increase or decrease depending on the sign of slope by whatever the value of a slope is, and we would include its units. So we'll practice interpreting that, but generically this is kind of a paint-by-numbers approach where you would be specific as to what the x variable was. You would state what the units were, but notice that it's always increases 1. So as the x variable increases 1, that's always going to stay the same, but we'll be specific as to what the x variable is, what the units are for it, We'll also state what the y variable is. We'll state increase or decrease depending on the sign for slope. And then we'll be specific as to what the numeric value is for slope as well as the units. So the regression equation creates what's called a regression line. And it's a straight line describing how those two quantitative variables compare to each other. Now, it can be used to either estimate an average for a value of y at a specific location of x, or it can predict a value of y. So interesting that the equation does two separate things, but the format or how you would use it would be the same way. So you either can talk about it as an estimate for the average value of y at a specific point x, or you can predict for one person. So you'll use the same method, it's just that you can talk about it in these two separate ways. So we're going to practice looking at how to describe or use that regression equation. And we're going to use it in the context of age and distance to read a highway sign. So this is the example that we've been looking at. Here's the regression equation. So y hat, because we're predicting the value of y, equals 577 minus 3x. So this regression equation creates this regression line. And if we look at the regression equation, we'll find the y-intercept. So that's always the value that stands by itself. So here that's 577. Then we have slope, which is negative 3. Now if I'm to write a slope interpretation, remember it's as the x variable. So here our x variable is age. So we would say as age increases 1. And our unit for age here is going to be year. So as age increases one year, we're always going to say we expect the y variable. And here our y variable is distance. So we expect distance. And then because the sign of slope is negative, we're going to say we expect distance to decrease because of that negative sign by, and then the numeric value for slope would be 3. And then our units would be 
feet, so by three feet. And we can see that that's the units over here on our y-axis. So now we're going to use that regression equation in the context of age and distance to read a highway sign. First, we want to estimate an average distance that a 20-year-old can read a highway sign. So we're going to be using the equation solving for y hat. So remember from the last page that 577 minus 3x was our equation. So here, when we're given 20 as our value, that's what we will plug in for x. So 3 times 20. And so our estimated average for 20-year-olds to be able to read a highway sign would be 517 feet. Then if I wanted to predict a maximum distance that a 20-year-old can read a highway sign, I actually am going to use the equation in the same way. I just this time am going to talk about it as a single predicted value for one 20-year-old, whereas what was written up here is going to be an estimated average for all 20-year-olds at that spot. So we're doing the same thing. We have the same equation. It's just we're talking about it in two separate ways. Finally, we want to talk about where that line comes from. So how do they choose that location for the regression line from that regression equation? Well, what they do is they minimize the distance that all of the values fall from that one particular location. So they measure that distance through something that's called a residual. So it measures how far your observed value is. So remember that's what y represents, its observed values, from the predicted value, which is coming from the equation.